we were shearing at two different sheds um, and they're probably an hour apart. Eight shearers in one shed and six in another and it was a pretty much a logistical nightmare. The shed was built in 2018. It's a simple horseshoe shaped design with all the wool working area in the middle. The roundabouts split into like two separate teams so they will sort of look after six or seven shearers on one side of the shed and same with the others. We have safety cut off switches at a push of the button anyone in the shed can shut the whole thing down. Other things that we've had installed in the shed to make things a bit easier and safer for shearers is like the sloping pens. That aids the shearer to, to drag the sheep out and also the single swinging doors mean that a shearer doesn't have to drag a sheep around. We have our main bore here. It's also where we live so it's essential that um, we have good capacity to be able to water the sheep. We tried to minimise where underneath the shed where sheep would walk because we don't want them compacting the manure which needs to be cleaned out. So we had to widen that a little bit. Sheep weren't flowing well underneath. That was one thing we found that we didn't get right and we had to change afterwards to, to make sure the sheep were, were clearing out under the, under the wool shed. So essentially there's two sets of yards that are mirror image of each other. The idea behind that is to have one set of yards which is just for woolly sheep and another set of yards which is just for shorn sheep. We have a, a double working race which we use for condition scoring, all the sheep condition scored off the board here and we treat them according to their condition to try and get them primed for, for joining which happens two to three months after shearing. We have 17 rooms, sleeps 34, gets filled up at shearing time. We have air conditioned rooms and um, modern kitchen and, and that sort of thing. It's pretty important to have good facilities. Shearers are, are not getting any easier to find and it's pretty important for everybody in the industry to um, provide good facilities. The sheep only come to, to this shed for shearing. All the crutching is done around the property at different sets of yards on a mobile crutching trailer which, which saves a lot of time. We've found containment feeding to be a very good tool in this part of the world um, and that allows us to, in, in drier times, to lock our sheep up in a small area and save our landscape from degradation to overgrazing and we provide the, the, the animal feed for those sheep that are in that area and we still have the sheep on hand if the season changes, which it can do quite quickly. So that's probably um, built quite a bit of resilience in, into our business, having that option.